Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Capricorn. This is going to be your middle to the ending of July spread. All the information that you need to book a personal reading is going to be down below, and all the special announcements will be said at the end. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. So I'm seeing news worth celebrating is coming in for you guys. I'm seeing wish fulfillment. I see the universe has been working behind the scenes in your favor. I see you guys have been taking the right steps to create a better tomorrow for yourselves. And I see this is resulting in stability. For a lot of you guys, I'm seeing this about your career. You guys definitely could like have your own business or you could be starting your own business. And I'm just seeing this is going to be something very successful for you guys. This is going to be a business that you guys can like successfully pass down from like generation to generation. And if you don't have your own business, I'm just seeing you guys are taking the proper steps to make your dreams a reality. For a lot of you guys though, I am picking up you have your own business because I'm seeing you guys are being happily, successfully self-employed. I see you guys being rewarded for all the hard work that you've been putting into your business. And I see this is coming back to you in the form of coins and new opportunities. Which I also see is something that you guys were worried about because I see you guys putting a lot of hard work into your business and you guys were worried if you were going to see a payoff from all that. You guys were worried that all that hard work wasn't going to be worth the effort. But I see you guys standing as King Midas. You have the Midas touch right now. So whatever new projects you're starting, it's going to turn to gold. Like even here, I just see this is something that you guys were really worried about. It's like you guys may not be seeing any growth on the surface from the seeds that you planted. But like underneath, I see these seeds are growing really strong, deep roots. And like I said, the universe has been working behind the scenes in your favor. Even if you can't see movement, movement is happening growth is taking place I just see for some of you your business may not be growing as fast as you wanted it to and it definitely could have been stressing you out but again like the universe just wants you to let that go they don't want you to worry because like I said they're working behind the scenes in your favor they're making shit happen for you even if you can't see it and like I said, for those of you who don't have your own business, I just see you're taking proper steps to make your dreams a reality. And I see you guys working really hard and this is going to come back to you. And there's definitely the same feeling of like you guys feel like you've been working so hard and like you guys are worried if it's all going to be worth it. Definitely for some of you, I see you guys could be like really creative. And for some of you, I see you may have two jobs, so you might like work for somebody else, but then I definitely see you guys do something else on the side. Definitely something creative, I'm feeling. And like, I just see like you guys have been really tired going from one job and then going to the next, working on your dreams. It almost feels like you're never not working. And you guys are like wondering if this is even going to be worth it, but I see that it is. You guys have the Midas touch right now, so whatever new projects you're starting is going to turn to gold. So keep working hard at your dreams because they are manifesting. I just see really strongly that you guys are worried if this is all going to be worth it, if you're just holding on for like short-term success. And I definitely see like working two jobs for a lot of you is really stressing you out. Like I said, it's like you're never not working. I see you guys working really hard at work and then it's like you go home and like you're still working. And it's really overwhelming and kind of stressful for you guys because again, like you guys want to know that it's all going to be worth it. And I definitely see that it is and the universe is really just wanting you to let go of all that worry and all that fear. And either way you resonate with this, I just see you guys are expecting the worst about this. But the universe wants you to know that you can overcome any obstacle that's in your way. Especially those of you who are juggling two jobs, I definitely see like you guys are working really hard and the universe is noticing that, okay? And I definitely see, like I said, this is going to come back to you in the form of coins and new opportunities. And I definitely see for like the first group, like I was saying, like you guys definitely have a very creative business. For the second group, I'm seeing like your side hustle is also very creative. And engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career in every other area of your life. It's like not only does this help you express your emotions, but this is something that you guys really enjoy doing.
okay and you're on the right path keep doing what you're doing because it's working keep following your heart it's pulling you into alignment for some of you i see you could be like a guidance counselor or for some of you you could be like a spiritual advisor i'm seeing and i see for some of you you definitely could be like worried about your business you could be worried about all the work you're putting into your business and if it's going to be worth it but again like you're on the right path you're doing the right thing it's working keep doing what you're doing things might be slow now but i definitely see they're going to be picking up for you specifically i'm seeing in autumn that's also when we have maybon which is like the harvest Okay, so I definitely see all the hard work that you've been doing over the summer. I definitely see this is going to come back to you, like I said, in the form of coins or new opportunity in autumn. So like I said, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. I'm seeing you guys heal with your classes, your sessions and seminars. You heal with kind words, wise advice and an empathetic ear. And like I said, you guys are doing the right thing, so keep doing it. I'm also picking up somebody really strong like you could have a job and like you also could be making paintings and you could be selling them and I definitely see things could be slow right now so you're questioning if you should keep doing this but again like keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right path and like I definitely see you could be like going to a friend or for some of you going to a tarot reader and like asking for advice here this can even be like a job counselor and I definitely see you guys asking them for advice on what they think you should do or if you're doing the right thing. And I definitely see, like I said, you are, okay? So keep doing what you're doing. Keep embracing and nourishing the creative aspect of your mind, whether it be through painting, music, creative arts, or spiritual arts. Keep letting your inner child play and create because this is very healing for you and others. And keep following your intuition because it's pulling you to your divine life purpose. It's pulling you into alignment. You guys know in your heart what you came here to do. To bring a state of perfect harmony into your world and to do so without judgment. And I definitely see whatever creative endeavor you guys do, like I said, this is bringing a lot of balance to you. Not only is this helping you express your emotions, but this is something that you really love to do. This brings your world into a perfect state of harmony. And you're being asked to release any beliefs that no longer assist in your soul's growth. Stop doubting yourself because you are way more talented than you realize. I'm also seeing some love stuff pop up in here. I see somebody could have asked you out on a date. And you guys had like a really, really good time together, such a good time together that this person is feeling like you're a dream come true. And I see this person is kind of like imagining already what your life would look like together. I definitely see this person can like definitely see themselves with you here. They feel like you would be a good choice when it comes to love and stability. And I see you guys are kind of holding yourself back from this person because you feel like this person came on so strong that you feel like this is too good to be true. That's kind of like what I'm picking up here. Like I definitely see you don't trust this. You feel like this person could be a cheater or like you just feel like something's up. And I see this person is wanting to be assertive with what they want and what they want is for you to be loyal. They don't want you dating anybody else. Okay, and I definitely see because this person's coming on really strong, you definitely could be like holding yourself back from this person a little bit. Some of you are feeling like this is too good to be true for others of you. I just see this person's coming on like maybe too strong for you guys and this could be scaring you away. For those of you where this person's kind of scaring you away here, I definitely see, like I said, you could be like holding yourself back from talking to this person and I see this is actually like really hurting them. It's also like messing with their self-esteem. And it's making them get caught up in their own thoughts, a lot of fear and worry, because for some of them they feel like you could be hiding something, like either you just want to be single, or like you could be dating other people I'm seeing. But yeah, like this person doesn't really want you dating anyone else, this person really wants your loyalty. This person is just like head over heels for you I'm seeing. For that other group I was picking up, it's like, yeah, this person's coming on strong. It's not scaring you away, but it's definitely making you feel like this is too good to be true. Um, I just see, like, you guys can kind of be, like, self-sabotaging yourself here, because I definitely see you could also be holding yourself back from talking to this person. Because, again, like, you feel like this is too good to be true. You guys kind of, like, don't trust this person. 
And I definitely see the situations making you overthink a lot. I definitely see you guys could have like trust issues from like a past or prior relationships. And like you're being asked to let go of your fear and worry. Because I see this is going to be like a very passionate relationship. And again, like this person is really, really into you. But because they're so into you, you guys are expecting the worst here. And then for those of you where this person's coming on really strong here, I just see, yeah, for some of you, you definitely could have wanted a relationship before you guys went on this date. But again, like, because this person's coming on so strong, you guys are kind of realizing, like, maybe what you thought you wanted isn't really what you wanted. So I see you guys are kind of, like, putting up your walls when it comes to this person. For some of you, I do see you could be just blocking this person or ghosting this person. And I really don't recommend that. Like, just have straight-up, honest, forward communication with this person. If you're not interested, just tell them you're not interested. Don't lead them on anymore. Don't ghost them. Because if you ghost them or block them, I definitely see this is going to mess with their self-esteem. This is going to mess with their head a bit. So definitely be considerate of this person's feelings, okay? For some of you, you may be feeling like you don't want to hurt this person feelings okay but I see like ghosting them or fading out on them is actually gonna cause more damage than just being straight up with them so again like if you're not interested in this person just let them know um, if you are interested in this person but again like they're coming on too strong here and you guys are like not trusting it definitely like I said let go of your worry and your fear because I see this is gonna be a very passionate relationship so let your walls down Okay, I see this person is going to be loyal. Like I said, they want you to be loyal too. And I definitely see this is a good choice for you guys for love and your future stability. And for that group, work with the color green to open up your heart chakra. I'm also seeing too, it would benefit you guys to balance out your root chakra because it's giving you guys a lot of fear and worry. So eat or wear the colors green and red or listen to healing frequencies because this is also going to help balance you out further and it's going to help you see through your fear and insecurities and it's going to help you to get a clearer vision of what's going on, okay? So um, that's what I got for you guys. Some signs that popped up in here. I see Pisces, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. Make sure you check your chart. Whoever you're connecting with, go check out their chart too. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And definitely go check that out because me and my mom made some really cool space face masks. So if you guys like space, planets, and constellations, they come in a pack of two and the link is going to be down below. And I changed my menu for personal readings. So all the information that you need to book one is also going to be down below. And make sure to go listen to my music on all major platforms and SoundCloud. And also go check out my Instagram, at CosmicTides underscore. I pull daily tarot cards. I share channeled messages. All that good stuff. And if you guys are interested to see what decks I use for this reading, they're also going to be listed down below. And I send so much love, light, protection, support, and safety to all those who are speaking out against injustice and fighting for peace. The universe fully supports you. Your voice matters, so keep speaking your truth, because the time for change is now. And it's really important that we keep this momentum up, that we keep on bringing awareness and keep on having these conversations even after it stops trending, because the problem is still going to be there. So please keep fighting the good fight because this is going to bring change. And keep shining your light on the world because you make a difference. Stay blessed and stay safe. Bye!